Good morning. I have a little venting to do as well as a little bit of uh, knowledge. And um, things that might uh, assist us in this um, pandemic. For those who don't know me or ever been to any of my lectures or anything in the past, my name is Arakma Rahim Ali Mala, born Janae King. Uh, people call me Aunt Saline, Miss A, Mama Bush. Um, growing up, Nene, Sister Nana. It is so many names that has been given unto me. Uh, Guru Nanaki, in my years of studies and travels. What I want to vent a little bit about is... Uh, this pandemic that supposedly started in China, over in Asian countries, how in the heck have it reached America all the way to the D, Detroit, one of the major black cities of the world, with more people testing positive and have died from the virus than where it originated from. Also, we here in America are supposed to be one of the richest countries in the world, but yet our health care providers are going to work on the front lines basically naked for protection from the virus where the country that it originated from and some of their uh, surrounding countries and brethren and sistering countries are completely in Aztec gear, totally covered and protected. I can't really uh, say for sure that this uh, Corona-19 is uh, man-made or um, is something that has been turned loose as a, a bio um virus to um, bio-warfare, I can't really say because I don't know. But what I can say is that doing history, if you go back through history, we've had the Black Plague and all kinds of things that have killed millions of people, but it hadn't become a pandemic. Uh, the way it is today. Also, um, a few things that I want to vent about is not really venting, but a little bit of, of knowledge. Uh, why all of a sudden uh, we should wash our hands? This is something that is standard. You should wash your hands all the time. You should always cough within the crevice of your arm and sneeze in the crevice of your arms. Um, you should always, before you cook, you eat, after you use the bathroom, um, come from outdoors, you should wash your hands. Take off your outer gear. Don't come in the house and walk straight through with your uh, coats on and boots and shoes and everything. Uh, that been outside, could be stepping on feces or whatever, you should take them off at the door. Wipe your feet at the door. Um, uh, if you don't want to take your shoes off, if you get hard with it, wipe your feet clean uh, as you can at the door. These are just common sense things. Uh, wiping your counters from bacteria. Uh, don't cross-contaminate. Uh, Cross-contamination means using the same uh, cutting boards or the same counter to cut the meats that you do um, your vegetables. This is what you call cross-contamination. And then um, other little things is that, uh, uh, that people should know. If you fix anything to eat, anything uh, to eat, um, it should be eaten within a couple hours uh, or uh, if it's cooked food or put in the refrigerator. If it's uh, raw fresh food, you should fix it and eat it right away. You shouldn't let it set up and, and, and waste, you know. Um, 
you should try to fix it. Wash all your, your vegetables and stuff in a little bit of apple cider vinegar and sea salt. Um, it usually strips the pesticides and everything off of the thing. This is just a little a knowledge um, that people should do regardless, you know. Um, we shouldn't have to have a pandemic for people to do things with common sense. Put a little tiny bleach in your uh, dishwater. Um, have different rags, uh, you know, a handy wipe or a sponge for your counters. Have your um, scrubs for your pots. Uh, have a dishcloth for your, uh, your, your, your dishes. Don't cross-contaminate. You know, these things should be common sense, um, period. I know I'm a little excessive uh, when it comes to certain things. Um, always have been a little excessive. Uh, my family and people that really know me can uh, tell you this. Uh, personally, I don't like um, washing up and drying off with the same washcloths and stuff that other people use. So I have my own, you know, period, my own. And then when I had my children was growing up and lived in the house, they had their own sets. And same thing about sheets and pillowcases and cover. They, I bought their own when they were always. They had their own. I let them choose their Colors, everything, they had their own. Um, my sons had their own. Um, uh, when I married, my husband had his own. I just don't like it. And another thing, I always like my own glass, my own cups, uh, things. I don't want to drink after other people uh, as less as possible. And I don't like paper, so I don't even... When restaurants was open, I don't even like to go to restaurants um, that have paper. I like real dishes, and I want to make sure that they're clean and sterilized and things like that. Um, that's just me. I'm funny. I uh, probably, uh, even growing up, I'm not into uh, ordering carry out uh, to, to, to my home and stuff, take out food. That's just never been me. I've done it probably a few times in my life, but very, very few. And um, I'm nearly 70 now. And so I'm telling you, I'm funny. I'm not going to change um, those kind of ways. I'm just not going to change them. Uh, if you don't like taking your shoes and stuff off, don't come to my house. Um, it's just my rules. I don't like uh, people to smoke. Uh, any of those things in my home. You can do what you want in yours, but not in mine. All right, back to a little bit of, um, that's a little bit of knowledge. But uh, my concern is uh, what people got to understand that over history and time, um, the earth have uh, lost billions of people actually over time. Uh, the one thing that happens today is that uh, we're the future, uh, technological uh, society, uh, everything. I remember growing up, and that's not too many years ago, uh, we had three channels. If you lived in Michigan, you got Canada too, so we had four channels. Today you got, what, thousands of channels, um, thousands of movies and 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 everything. I mean, it's just ridiculous of of everything. Children, <laughs> I've seen children in elementary school have a phone. I mean, they ain't working. What they need a phone for? And then their parents make excuses of why they need a phone. They don't need no doggone phone. I mean, we grew up, we didn't have phones. You had to use a phone booth. We had operators and we survived. And better, because then you let in your intuition. You know, I can't believe how parents, even my own uh, 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 youth that I birthed, you know, uh, some of their children got phones. I, I, I don't see, well, depends. 
um if you got it where they can't just call out, you can monitor it, uh, some, you can put programs that you can monitor your home and watch them where they go and track them. Well, that's one thing. You might as well get them a chip if that's what you're going to do. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's just so much. And then, uh, I, I, I'm, I like animals. Don't get me wrong. I've, I basically always had a pet, uh, a dog. Um, cats was my sister's thing and my brother's thing. Um, birds and, and dogs were more my mom's and birds and dogs were more mine. But now I don't have any animals. Um, uh, I have to take care of me and I can't afford to take care of me properly and take care of an animal, uh, cleaning their feces and everything. This is not the time for it, um, to, to do that for me but whatever it is don't get afraid you know and then a couple things I you know this internet you know I check it uh, all but two days a week I just won't get on it um Sunday uh it's me day um I don't get on electronics or anything I might put a movie on not television but a movie not even uh you know, the internet, Netflix, and an uh, actual movie I'm, I might put on on Sundays, but nine times out of ten, I might not do that. And on Wednesday, that's my born day, the day I came into the earth. Um, it's the day that I turn the phone off. No internet, but I might get on the computer to type on my books and uh, manuscripts and different things like that. Um, type letters, do the things of business like that, but not on on Facebook or Instagram or any of that kind of thing or surf the ner- uh, net or anything. I don't do that. I give that time uh, to read and study, take my holy bath or detox and things like that. But uh, uh, that's nearly here than I tell you what, what, my main thing is I'm trying to say is find time for self. Uh, people going crazy. They're in their houses. They don't know what to do. I mean, why not? I mean, you should always take time for self. How can you truly say that you love me or your children or whatever if you don't love yourself? Uh, if you can't sit still and be quiet and, and meditate for yourself. And then... People is obsessed with um, religion. Religion is religion of man, not from the Creator God Almighty. And then doctrine. It's it doesn't matter what doctrine you come from. Don't force your doctrine on anyone else, or um, uh, they going to hell, or they're not right if they don't serve the same God or doctrine that you believe in. And 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 a couple of things uh, that I like. God Almighty, the absolute creator of the heavens of the earth, of all things, the seen and the unseen, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, is not the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ himself tell you, Peter, get up. Don't worship me. Worship the Father who art in heaven that sent me. No disrespect to a religion or people, but don't get the two mixed up. You can't make the Son of Man the same. We're the sons and daughter of man. We're the children of God Almighty. Do you think that the breath of life is given freely to us through the Creator? And also, our brother Esau, Joshua Ben Joseph, going down to Jesus, got that breath from the same person. Now, the Christ, that's a different thing. Christ, that's a consciousness. That's a spiritual holiness. 
So Christ ain't no ghost. No disrespect of calling the name Jesus, but <laughs> lots of Jesus, but Christ is an entirely different thing. Hope you understand what I'm saying. The Lord, thy God Almighty, the body Christ, the star child, the body Christ, is an entirely different thing. I love all you guys. I can truly say that. I love God Almighty, the living God Almighty, the star child, the body Christ first. Then I love self and the self-consciousness, the Christ consciousness next, then I can truly care and love everybody else. Be safe. Take time out each and every day and be safe. Don't criticize. Help one another if you can. Just be cautious. These are things we should do all the time anyway. I don't want to be sitting up on people anyway. You should always, anyway, when you go grocery shopping and stuff, come home. Don't sit your stuff up on your counters. Bring your bags in. Sit them on the floor. And as you take things out, clean it before you put it in your cabinets. This is just common sense things that you should do anyway. So, I hope that... Uh, a little bit of this venting and a little bit of this knowledge uh, passes on. Um, I'm not the most popular person. I have never been. Popularity come with uh, the world of man, truly. Um, most people don't like me. I can straight out say that. But where truth prevail, falsehood must flee. I'm not out here for uh, vain and vanity and and, and selling my soul and ripping off my people. Um, there are so many people who, uh, I mean, uh, popped up on the internet selling. Keep your dog on catering food at home. People don't know how you clean your house. And if you nasty, if your stove clean, if you, if you take care of yourself, if you covering your face, and, and if you, you know, uh, people popping up catering. Uh, that's bring you food or you come and get food from their uh, home. I mean, cook for your own families. Let them cook for theirs. And don't be buying carry out, keeping them restaurants, you know, in business. Let them close down. I mean, you know, um, you don't know what they're doing. If they're dropping stuff on, it's bad enough when they open. But when they close, you don't know what they're doing, you know. Uh, your health is at stake. Then you go from no their hands to either your car or uh, these, uh, they got the people who deliver the food. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Wake up, people. You know, wake up. And I'm glad some of this, this barbaric uh, stadium, I'm glad all that stuff closed down. Believe it or not, I am glad. All the bars and things, but though the liquor stores is making plenty money, but Guys, I'm glad a bunch of that junk is closed down. We didn't have it in the past. Uh, you know, we had some. You always had taverns and bars. If you go through history, there's always people that like to get drunk. But you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm glad, personally. You know, and a lot of these people that's ripping you off. Anyway, I love you guys. Take care. And uh, again, good morning.